We're officially recording. We're ready. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Linen and Scraps. My name is Molly. I'm Kathy. And we are so glad to be back. And uh, Kathy, you know, I see this on a lot of videos. I'm going to stop and do it today. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for accident oh, yeah. upon us. Accident upon us? And those of you who are returning oh, that, uh, that friends. Word? Yeah. And those of you who are returning friends, you know how much you mean to us. It's just a joy to be talking with you today and visiting with you again today and all. So on that happy note. It's good to be back. I mean, <sighs> it's good to be back on a, like, a little bit regular schedule. And Kathy has some finishes that I've got to figure out how to steal. So. I got some finishes. <laughs> okay. All is good. You want to start with your finishes because they're just beyond scrumptious. <gasps> scrumptious. Sure. Let's, because you know what? I have had numerous people reach out to me to wanting the conversion. Wait, wait, let me move this. Oh, yeah. Version. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Keyboard, 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 <laughs> out of the way. Um, so I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so I just want to get, this is my version of Tetalistai. I think I pronounced that pretty close. Um, loved it when I saw it at the attic in red. I'll get rid of the glare. And bought the pattern thinking, oh, I'm probably going to do that in red. Um, and then I also had picked up this lakeside uh, vintage sand dune 45 count. And the more I looked at it, I, and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just the past of everything this past year or whatever. But I just wanted it to look more calm. Um, and I happened to have two antique frames, but I decided to do it in browns. Just kind of the old, rug, old rugged cross theme Lent Easter. So here's my version of it. Um, what I really wanted to show was the um, colors that I added. Everything is done um, for the most part. The border, the bottom in a brown. The cross itself I outlined in a darker brown and then also used that in the words it is finished and then the John in 1930. I used a green, um, it's all silks. I used a green silk for the green, whatever would look to be leaves on the graph as well as whatever looked to be flowers on the graph just in the top portion. So there's some at the very top up there and then at the bottom of the cross. So that's what I used. Um, and I'm going to let you have that for a oh, second, Holly. You oh, have oh, for a second. second. For a second. I got excited. So my colors for the, for the color, which is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there's a red and an orange. And a green. And a green in there. Just see if I can hold that up at the back. I don't know if you can oh, see the I, variegated. Okay. So this particular one is uh, Floramel Silk Floss by Gloriana. The color on this one for just the color in the flowers is topiary. So that's this one, topiary. Wrong. There we go. Okay, so that's just the flowers. Then the leaves that I pulled out and did is Weathered Vine Belswa. Weathered Vine. The dark brown that I use is Alversoa is, let me just get to the color, is 3836. That's the dark brown around the cross and the words it is finished. And then the majority of the brown is Kodiak Bear 5137. Um, and it's www.hand-diedfibers.com. So that's what I used. Now, I will tell you that these colors look good on my linen. What linen you have or are going to sit yours on, they might not look good. Um, so you have to kind of play with, with the colors. But that's pretty true to how it actually turned out. Um, and they're all the same tone. Yeah, yeah they're, just they're beautiful. all calm, soft mm -hmm. tone. Mm -hmm. And I had it displayed. Uh, I was talking to Molly. I had it displayed. I took some picture. I love this. This I picked up at Hobby Lobby, so I just have it leaned up against there. Um, bought at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. I got rid of the He is Risen. I sanded that off and stained it a little bit and put an extra cross over here in front of it. Leaned that up, and then also I had the nails leaned up against it along with an old antique hymnal um so it made some a really nice mm -hmm. lent display mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that is my 
oh, I did drop one, my Tetelestai mm -hmm. um, sampler. So hopefully, but when you do yours, like I said, we Molly and I were talking when I came over, this linen, these colors look good on this linen. Um, and again, that linen is Lakeside Vintage, Vintage Sand Dune 45 count. So you're Beautiful. gonna have to see if those colors look as good on your linen as what mm -hmm. this one did. What so, a beautiful Easter setting! Yeah. Oh, my stars. So done. Finish that one, and then um, must have been in the finishing mood because once you start. So a while back, I had had Heap on the Wood by Brenda Gervais done, and I had taken it up north because I wasn't happy with the writing. The writing's Heap on the Wood. The wind is chill. But let it whistle as it will. We'll keep our Christmas merry still. I just didn't like, I didn't frame it right away. I had a frame, didn't like the frame, but didn't like the writing. You couldn't really see a writing from a distance. So went to Hobby Lobby and this frame, I kid you not, was $13. Hobby cut it down and can you see it good? Or is there a glare? There we go. So that is my heap on the wood. Do I have to go down? Kathy, that's beautiful. You like it? I love it. You love, I it? love it? Do you want me to hold it so, so they I'm see really, it? So I'm really, really happy. That's fine. Really happy with the lettering. How And that was Flatfish that I used on that. Otherwise, I used the called for threads. Oops, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Now, the frame, I, I mirrored, kind of mimicked what was already there, but it was beat to kingdom come. I mean, it was just... And Kathy, the in way I'm holding shape. it, you can see all the colors in yeah, the frame. Yeah, the frame. So kind of reminded me of wood that had embers burning on it. You know, uh -huh. when you talk about heap on the wood, you can kind of see the, you know, when you're, you're blowing out a wood campfire and you have that glow that's left. That's exactly what the frame is. And Kevin, that's one of the reasons I love you so much. Your storytelling is yeah, fabulous. Yeah, I like that so one. That's good. Good. Every, every so, detail, every detail. So reminded me of that. The frame, um, really, I was very, very happy with the frame. Um, oh Use just standard paints, uh, folk art paints. And I love, and I should have brought it, the Hobby Lobby stain that you and I have used so oh, often. Oh, yeah, that wax. Uh -huh. That stuff is phenomenal. It I really used is. it on this frame. I used it on that frame. I've used it on things that aren't to be framed. Yep. That's Not that it. I don't have a dirty old bottle. Yeah, over that's here. it. Love it for uh, for redoing and touch ups and. And it comes in a four or five shades, and yeah. they're all great. But this yeah. brown one, but this brown is my one probably is, third bottle yep. of it. So that's my keep on the wood. I absolutely love it. So now at Christmas time, when I'll be home this year, more than likely, yeah, it comes in the white. Mm -hmm. And it's so, not true white. It's like a pickle, yeah, pickle yeah. white or something. So finish that one. <sighs> Got that one. So I have two F, 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 and Fs. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, and they're just really happy smart. with them. Just really beautiful. happy with them. So, and your settings for them are stunning. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one day we're going to have to do a tour of your house. I Everything know, somebody said that. is a treasure. It's just Got to tour Kathy's house. We may, maybe, we'll have tour to Kathy's tape, house. maybe we'll have to tape there once. There you go. Uh, but first, I have to dust because you can literally write. Well, I was teasing Kathy. We had some pretty severe winds. Uh, oh. Not any bad weather like some areas we're having all, but we had some winds my, gust up to yep. 60, 70 miles an hour, they were predicting. Yep. But I was cleaning my house, which I don't do all the time, but um, procrastinating, you know, um, crafting when you should be cleaning. But anyway, I was cleaning, 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 but I called Kathy. I ain't dusting because it's going to be with this windstorm. I have, to, I have to dust two days in a row. Yeah, it's so it's I'm it's terrible. That. I swear, we had some new windows put in, and I swear that stuff creeps in no matter what. Well, that's because we have double insulated. It's yeah. Good, you know, it's house stays cool, warm when it's supposed to. It's yep. good, but uh, that dust is a pickle. Oh. But anyway. The dust is tiny dust. Okay, Kathy, as far as fully finishes, if you could see behind Kathy back there in the corner. Oh, I love my little frame her. That I'm, yeah, let me go get her. That's your, good. that's your, uh. Table centerpiece frame. He has my little two dollar frame. Yeah, a two dollar frame. That's $2. real, and you got it all done. But yeah, I have to. I have that. to put finishes on the back. But oh. isn't that sweet? And once again, I just used a little bit of that wax to cover over some bobos yep. on the thing and all. But that's a Brenda Gervais piece, of course. The needle be at the so small and slender is both a maker and a mender. Now my words not cut off, even though it kind of looked like it there. But uh, yeah, just that when I say just the right size, yeah, just the Perfect. right size. And I love the color and the beading in it and all. Okay, I so see, that was my finish. I see a lot of people um, on Instagram. I, I actually find more interesting things I think on Instagram than what I do Facebook, but. I have to say, um, a lot of people are 
13 for frames. We're an old frame and making it work. I'm go you know me I'm not that. knowing my names. I need to do better at this, but I'm thinking it's the contented stitcher. Yeah, Aaron's bad. Who I want to go in. Her. her room is filled with most beautiful samples. But she did a whole video on how to use your miter saw and do your frames and all. I, Good video. Is Good it? video. Mm, Might have you, to check that one out. If you want to strip frame and you're willing to buy a miter saw. I think saw, the hardest part, somebody asked if I have any tips. I think the hardest part is stretching your piece perfectly enough so that you don't overcut your frame. So yes. Uh -huh. You want to stretch. I always stretch it, which is fine, mm. but I don't want to stretch it to the point of being too far into the rabbit. You have to consider mm. that rabbit there, but then stretch it enough because I like mine really close. Yes. Honestly, if I could have gotten this, oh, the other one came off. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Honestly, if I could have gotten this even a little bit closer to the edge of the frame, I would have. But this one, we didn't cut down at all. But that one, Kathy, I, the air around there is just, yeah, it's a it's perfect. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And on my heap on the wood, I've got a little bit closer, it's closer. to the. It's close. Yeah. I noticed that. So. But anyway, so Contented Stitcher. I'll have uh, to look at that. Contented you know, it's Stitcher. Just, and I think she actually did it over two videos or so. But okay. uh, it, well, well done we'll video on how to. Because that, I think, is the biggest the thing is, is stretching your fabric enough, but then not over cutting your, mi your miter so that. You don't shorten your frame too much. And I don't know how much a miter saw is, but I bet you after two frames, if you bought frames, oh, custom yeah. Gosh, frames, no and them, I bet you they pay for the yeah. miter. Okay, yeah. so that's my fine. That's my two finishes. I had two. Well, this thing I think only took me. It's two so weeks, pretty. Maybe it's just to start and stitch. So, so pretty happy pretty. with that. Okay, so. The next thing is you want to go into whips. Yeah, let's see your and whips. Starts. Yeah. I'm calling them whips and starts because, you know, there's supposed to be a, some kind of rule about how many stitches you're supposed to have and something to call it a yeah. whip. Yeah. Well, I'm close on some. But I, we're not counting. Even though I start off with Molly's sampler, which was my gift from yeah. uh, Burgett at the uh, thorn, uh, wishing thorn, thorn Bush, the Wishing Thorn. Uh, excuse me. I've got something else in my head. Um, I wanted to start some other things just to see what I wanted up on my tables next and all because I'm getting you know, two weeks away or a week away from finishing some things. Yeah. So uh, what's next kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what it's I do. It's kind of amazing in your head when you're stitching, when you're close, you're like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Yeah. And market's coming up. So of course oh, I got to know, do gosh. I need those or not? Do I want them? To, uh, anyway, so I'm just going to re-show y'all because I couldn't be more proud. Um, yeah. Well, my son, having my son, I was kind of proud of him. Yeah. But next to that, <laughs> I was proud of this. Isn't that... Uh, just the prettiest thing. I still am just awestruck from it. Now. now, I did ask Kathy when she walked in today, should I be making a change or just living with it? And, of course, she immediately convinced me. These are the colors. Just beautiful. My first attempt with silk, and they're just absolutely stunning. So here's the sampler, and you'll see why I was a little concerned. See how it shows up? Here yeah. Nice the yellow is a little soft. on the. It's not soft with the collection of threads that she picked. I it's like just it my there. fabric. I like but it I kind of like now Kathy gave mm -hmm. me a term today, ghosting. I said, oh, I have a new, yeah. uh, you know. The, the alphabet's going to ghost a little bit. But I love how it's coming out. I do too. If you can see, oh, my needle's still in there. The pretty pink and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And that thread that's the border, you know, that over dyed thread is just stunning. Really so pretty. this is as long it's as it is. It's pretty Molly. That's as long as it is. You oh, Forget's going to be thrilled to see you. And then it, I'm almost, I've got like, it's about this wide, yeah. you know, that much wider. And, I'll, and that's what um, I'll, I'm going to get on this it's really and get pretty. some more things in. I'm about to start. I the love the, the color of the Ada that you're doing that on. I've started the alphabet, but mm -hmm. I have to tell you, because I'm silly, um, at the bottom where it says, wrought by Molly, once I get around that corner border, which I'm there almost, I just have to put I'm going to stitch in that next. <laughs> so going to sneak that in? Yeah, in case I pass before I get this done. <laughs> I don't know how I did this at least this much. Whatever was there yeah. was rot. Yeah, I did that at least. Okay, the next thing is, um, I've been on a bird frenzy lately. I know, we talked about birds. I, it's like time. I love them. And uh, yeah. I didn't know I loved them. But uh, a lot of the new patterns I'm going to show, I have a thing Bunch of showing new birds. patterns. It's birds. There's a lot of, but this was by Mojo Stitchers. Kathy, I think you mentioned it last week. Yep. Okay, come back a little bit. Yep. I think I'm too close to the camera. There you go. It's Among the Roses from it's Mojo so Stitches, pretty. and 
I'm going to try to do a better job than I did last week of showing you the threads. They are the richest, prettiest uh, colors of threads. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. And uh, this is all I've gotten done so far. So that's what we can, we'll call it a start instead of whip. But I wanted to oh, make sure. Oh, look at that rose. Oh, my gosh. I love it. That's so pretty, Molly. It is. And this rose is the one that's not even as um, big, pronounced. detailed. Okay. This one, the bigger roses have a lot more detailing and I'm going to call it confetti pretty. or something. This one's easier. But isn't that oh, yeah. just. I might have to start that one. It's pretty. It's going to be very pretty. That's very pretty. So now, are those the called for? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Very uh, nice. Called for DMCs. You know, I mean, I. Deep sea is wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm just going to remind you of this because I'm re actually reminding myself <laughs> more than I'm reminding y'all. Uh, I'm working on the Lori Holt thing. And this is one that I'm saying as easy as this is to stitch, I think in another week and a half or so, I'll have this little baby yep. finished and hopefully framed. You know, and yep. she's just as cheery as she could be. And I was teasing last time about the chickens. You know, I had that chicken quilt up. And yeah. the little chickens here. Oh, my gosh. Everybody wants to know where the chicken quilt you well, I got it. that. Well, we Kathy took me to a store called Martha's, I think. Yeah. And, um, we know, so it's a wonderland. We got to go back. We do. I was glad the fire didn't. They had a horrible fire there. They did. Go. I was horrible. just praying that no yeah, one was hurt. Don't worried. take Martha's for God's sake. Yeah. Um, anyway, but that cheery little thing. But I'm noticing chickens are like the thing. Popular. Bees and chickens. So yeah. The yeah. farm look, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Kathy, you want me to go keep going on my? Yeah, list? keep going on yours. I I only have I only have two of them, but I'm gonna surprise everybody because I. If I hadn't finished this one, I would have had a third whip. I mean, if you had to finish, oh, but okay, I got it done. You know, just a second. I, I thought, I'm one of those guys that I stay on it till it's done. Okay, this oh, are my these are my that. weather chart colors for temperature colors. My temperature chart, and what I was excited about, I'm about to get into some greens because we're hitting the high 60s, low 70s, and all. And then within about a 12 minute span, we'll be yeah. into the reds Hot. and oranges and yellows. Right. And all. But I, again, just love this. It's from the Stitching Mommy on uh, Etsy. And I'm, uh, you know, seven days behind February or something. But I just love how it's coming out. And the now, different are you going to have to track how far you. Wait, no. You, do you have to look up seven days ago worth of weather? Yes, ma'am. But you go on AccuWeather.com oh, okay. and, and you put you... in your zip code or city oh. and hit monthly. Okay. And it uh, gives you by the month for you the last year. The year. Well, the thing, I don't like doing one day because it's kind of a drag to just do one yeah. day. So I save myself like seven yeah. days or ten days yeah. or something. So that's, or that's at least what I'm telling myself. Now, this next one is I love the picture. Yeah. Not loving the colors. Every once in a while, you bump into one When like I pulled that. the colors, it was like, that isn't happening for me. But I may keep going. I don't know. But this was in um, the Primitive Stitcher. Sometimes you got to keep going. What's it called? Punch punch Work and Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, I think, magazine. Anyway, but it's from the Blue Flower. And she's got some darling new patterns out this year with the same kind of feel. But see how peachy and strawberry red that looks in the picture? And that's a when I started stitching it, it's much more toned down. I don't look bad on camera. That's a seasonal one too, right? That's yes, ma'am. This one happens to be yeah. summer, okay. and then she's got a spring one that's even more pink. But you, I don't know if you can notice on here the call for color. Oh, that looks brown. Anyway, right here is uh, DMC. It's a gray. Oh yeah. That's and I great. don't. It's too. It looks like primer paint or something to me. So if you'll notice here, Kathy, yeah. I'm changing to this brown. Oh, you went to a lighter. And I haven't ripped this yet because okay. I wanted to make sure I fell on with that. And while this is over dyed, you can hardly see, but it has a little bit more soft. It's warmer. soft. Yeah, it looks a little more naturey to me, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. all. But I, it's going to be a cute pattern. Definitely I just, uh, warmer. It looks more folly to yeah. me in summer, but that's, yeah. you know, maybe just me. Okay, this next one. Oh, I love I think it's I'm going to love it. And then one of the, th you know, you look at a picture on something. Somebody else mentioned this the other day when they saw the picture. Oh, it was C. Zook. Carolyn Zook was talking about a, she, if you need to see a market walkthrough, she goes to Garand Stitchery website and she walks through all the market releases. She does a great job. Oh, wow. Now, get yourself some supper, get a snack. Because you need some time. Get, get a drink, whatever. You know, make sure you're in a comfortable chair because it's a long video. But it's worth every minute of it. She does a great job, you know, showing you the new releases. Uh, See Zook Stitch, I think is what it is. Anyway, oh, she held up some so patterns. Pretty. And at first they looked like, well, I could do those. And then when she read them, they were like 280 by 320. She's like, maybe not. You know, <laughs> well, this yeah. one was 
backwards for me. Oh, I so thought this pretty. was going to be huge, but when you read the measurements, it's like finished seven inches by. Oh, so it's not bad. No, so I could do that. But I love the colors. Yeah. And you know, I'm not that I'm a follower of Kathy's, but uh, she did that. You did that one um, sampler, and it had colors that were these kind of purples and. Oh, you know, my, earthy. my model one that I'm yes, stitching Yes, your model. Well, mm -hmm. I had to have something, you know, as close to that as I could get. It's very funny. <laughs> kind of thing. So anyway, this was Blooming Bouquets. Let me hold it up again. Blooming Bouquets by uh, Jeanette Douglas. Oh, and I didn't know Jeanette Douglas six months ago, and now I'm a big fan. Fan of her. She's got yeah. some awesome designs. She has, yeah. talking about some market releases, yeah. she's got some yeah. yummy things coming out. So are those the colors? Okay, so these are the colors. Let me see if I can pick them up right to show you. Pretty, pretty that. colors. Very nice. And this is as far as I've gotten, but I'm loving it. And I don't know if you can even see, but like that flower, just yeah. even the center of the flower is three colors or something. There's a border. See the little light oh, yeah. the border and all. So, uh, and the leaf is actually two different colors. It's what she called for. You can't hardly tell them apart. But uh, I think I'm going to love it. Yeah. Just the colors of it and all. It's very light. I think so. Looking. And it looks like old yeah. to me. You know, yeah. old like, you know. Cool. Very nice. Okay, and then this was the one I only put in 10 more stitches, so I shouldn't even be showing it. But this was that Plum Street sampler. Yeah. Did you decide if you're going to put the words on the bottom? I don't think pocket? so. No. I don't I don't know. I, you know, I want to respect the designer so much, but by the same token, I want to be we'll smiling every time yeah. I see it. And uh, part of why I don't want to put Spring is Sprung, this is a dumb thing. If you can see in this pattern at all, there's a snowman. See right there in the middle. Is a snowman. Let me see if I pull it back. And snowflakes. Yeah. And there's a cardinal, which I've stitched the cardinal. Robin. It's a cardinal. Oh, it's a little card. Oh, saying hi to the robin. So, yeah, he's saying hi to the yeah. robin. But the moral to the story is that doesn't look like spring to me. Oh. You know, it looks like. You don't think the robin's saying hi? I mean, cardinal saying hi to the robin. Well, then spring is coming. You know. Yeah. Because he's still here. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh boy, I need a drink. I need a drink. So I that's why I said I may do something else. But anyway, but I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love, love, love it. So, okay. Now, this next one. Yeah. And I found out something about this pattern, Kathy. I didn't even know. It's from oh, JBW Design. Yes, it's she beautiful. has some pretty new things coming out of market, too. Yep. And again, never knew. I didn't know JBW Designs at all. But this Bluebirds of Happiness sweet was things. from Keepsakes. Mm -hmm. I ordered it, and it was a... a they had done a retreat. Yeah. I think this was the special for the retreat. Yeah. But if Look this isn't those. pretty enough, there's like four little smalls in that pattern. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Uh, oh, in addition to this overall one. Yes. Yeah. And I'm not saying they're not pulled out motif, motifs, yeah. moti motifs, but they uh, they look a little different little to me. But they're from little scissor bobs to little pin keeps. Just very, real pretty. Very pretty. Real, real pretty. Okay. Now, this color palette would not have been one that I thought I would have picked. But I'm, I like it. It looks like spring too. Okay. I'm not tired like of those spring. designers. Know what they're doing. I, that's that. what I'm thinking. They know what they're doing. I know. You know. Aren't those the sweetest little spring colors? Yeah. Just sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah. And this is as far as I've gotten. But again, I was just wanting to see. Was it? Yeah, I love pretty. it. It's going to be the sweetest so little thing. That's good. Look, I have to stop. So soft. Sweet. And I love this material. What is this? i got to get more of this. Milk and Honey from Fiber on a Wind. I like fiber on a whim. I, I have fallen you've in love gotten, with 18 count fiber on a yeah, whim. One three. A few, is that 18 count? Yeah. No, probably not. And that's no. what I teased Kathy. I think this is 14. Yeah. I had bought a lot of 14 count. And so I'm going to use it. I'm yeah. stitching my stash, Jessica and Alicia. But uh, use it. if I had it to do over again, this would be one thread over uh -huh. 18, you know, on well, 18 count. But as it is, it's two threads over 14. You and found it's gonna your be, sweet spot. It's now you kind of know. But I want to use these. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. They're pretty. Yeah. You know. So, okay, there's that. Now, wait a minute. Was that all? Was that all? I felt like there was more, but there's not. Is that it? Is that all? I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I swear I've been stitching on more things than that, but that was it for my start. The only other starts and whips, I should say. Uh, and then I did, I'm saying I finished this on the pattern. It's from Hands On Design. Yep. And it's Love You a Waffle Lot, which I think is just That's darling. really sweet. Uh, and, and there it, is a blue little back stitch around those squares. And I like back stitching. I'm not a 
oxygen. I like the oxygen. I just didn't want that addition of aqua. Oh. You know, it yeah. goes like right around here. Yeah, you just didn't want that. I want my waffle to be <laughs> waffle. You want your you waffle know? to be a waffle. Yeah, kind of thing. So I like that. Okay, so that was my whips, whips. and starts is what I'm called. Whips and starts, you know. Okay. What's next for you, madam? Well, I am still working on my model sampler for Dutch Tree, and I really ha didn't get in a whole lot of stitches on this one, but I did finish up the butterfly. You know what? Maybe from the back here, this will look good. So that this is going to be released in June at the at the attic, the Bristol Sampler Symposium, and this is, is a Bristol Sampler done in colors. This is a uh, Dutch Tree design. Yeah, I think when you hold it further back, that's really, really true to the colors, what they are. So oh. I did a little stitching on that. I didn't press it up. Well, I pressed it up, but then I folded it. Mm -hmm. So Kathy, it's so pretty. And then I had a start um, with this mess. That's a mess. <laughs> that's a mess. That is a stinking mess. But the basket alone is drawn. The basket's cool. Um, so, I, you, if you guys remember me talking about, um, and I got threads are blown around all over the place here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's just my thread. Uh, talking about this one. This is uh, the Prince of Peace. And this is by Lori, now you say her name, Rippy. And she has her own site, so you have to kind of search. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> you have to search her name. She's not on Etsy, but okay. she does have this. So, I had initially pulled, okay, let's talk about this. I like to stitch with, what are you Go ahead. I'm good. I like to just stitch with one thread. Mm -hmm. That's my sweet spot. So, usually I'm stitching on an 18 count or 36 count or 40 count for 20. Or, you stitch on 18 count? Yes, because it's a 36. Okay. 30, 30, over mm -hmm. two, yeah. Okay. okay, or 18 count, mm -hmm. depends, okay, mm -hmm. but always with one thread. Mm -hmm. So when I found this beautiful red linen, when I went shopping, and it is really pretty, up at Black Cat Stitchery in Kenosha, mm -hmm. when I went up there, I love the linen. And once you know, it's a 32 count, PTP Phoenix, okay? Okay. So I'm like, oh, that means I'm going to have to use two threads of floss. So I had all the pulled colors, all the over dyes, the fancy floss, and I'm like, okay, I love the red enough. I'm going to, but when I got home, I thought, I'm going to just pull the Danish flower, Danish flower thread. This is a mess, and I apologize, but you all, I bet, have a mess like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this is actually looking a little bit better as my colors that I pulled for it. Um do that. Okay. So one strand of Danish flower thread will work on 32 count. The same with your sulkies. Oh, okay. One strand will cover a 32 count. So that's really why I thought I'm going to go upstairs and see what stash I've got in my Danish flower threads or my Jenny Thompson thread, which is the same with. And it's more, feel that. So you're going over two. I'm going that. over two. Okay. But feel how that it, it's Whoa, definitely it's, it's got, meaty. yeah, it's got a texture to it that I really, uh -huh. so here's my I'm gonna start. I'm going to hold it up one layer so you can see. Yeah. Here's my start on, yeah. And Wait, I, I'm trying not to cover and recover. I got it. The red is really bright. So we're going to have to. It is pretty. It's, we're, I'm going to have to keep going on this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to say one thing about that too because. That's um, one thread. One thread. If I hold it. It's really not coming across because there's a white lacy border. How can I get that model? Well, anyway, oh, I see it. It's the colors are the not top. near as dark as what they're coming across on the screen, it's, and even holding it back is not doing it justice. It is very close to this picture um, as far it as is, what I was managing yeah. to find. Um, but one of the things I wanted to say, we were talking about designers. Um, I had pulled this thread. And I don't have a white paper. I pulled this thread. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Oh, well, he's got paper. Oh. <laughs> Doing some repahato. Timber! Doing some repahato. She's pulling my I pulled that floss. 
And Which has a cast of yeah, red to it, but to it's it. dark. Okay. But it's dark. Um, but you, and it's going to be really hard to see on this, I stitched these little triangles here in that color. It looks totally different on this fabric. You, you're saying triangles. Do you mean diamonds? Diamonds. Okay. Yeah. So my point to this whole thing is, and I go back to the cross that I stitched, is colors change on your linen. Mm -hmm. So yes, even though I went home and matched the Danish flower thread and the Ginny Thompson thread as close as I could to the fancy floss, just that shade off a little bit looks different when you stitch it. A green, uh, a white on this one has a tendency to look more green, and it's actually more cream color in the skein. Um, so my my point being is stitch what you like. Stitch the colors that you like. Just because it looks good on my... See, when I put it over the white, how you can see... Yeah, just because it looks good on my fabric, those colors might not work on your fabric. And I think you have to be just open-minded enough to say... and. It, Stitch a little bit. And Kathy, I think that's why I started my starts. I wanted to see what the color And I were. wanted a mixture of yeah. palettes. You know, I wanted to be Because you really mood. have to play mm -hmm. with it a little bit. And I, I apologize for this. Not, this looks much better off screen. <laughs> it does. But I, I think once I put on the white paper, Kathy, it's, yeah, you can you see can the see color. A little bit better. Now, that top brown is awfully dark. But uh, yeah. Which, and those diamonds at the bottom, right? Bottom, right? Yeah. The Z, yep. They're actually that dark blood red thread yeah, she's right talking there. about and yet they look brown on here almost like almost, uh -huh. almost black uh -huh. almost black. so it's kind of amazing the difference in colors once it's stitched to the actual fabric and mm -hmm. i think that was my point was you have to play with your own threads on your fabric because it's mm -hmm. like you said your colors might not look good on on my on my colors might not look good on your fabric so you kind of have to play got to play a little bit mm -hmm. but that's the fun of it you know, a little patient, and this red fabric is, it's kind of a deep dive into a color that's like unknown. I mean, it's how many samplers color. are stitched on red, you know? Well, hold that thought. So, I, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that's my two whips that I have working on, and I'm hoping I, I make some progress on this one. I um, bet you will. And i got to dig and see yeah. if i got a frame. I might have oh. a frame underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath the bed. Underneath huh? the bed. Okay, and I was so excited because when I said hold that thought on that red, in El Paso, I think I mentioned this last time, Nancy Waller, who has yeah. um, FaithWorks Designs, right? so she does cross-stitch patterns now, um, also holds a local cross-stitch meetup for yeah. a group of ladies, yeah. and uh, it's really fun and nice, and you couldn't ask for, not only are they nice ladies, they're just the most talented stitchers. And very giving. Giving and the most talented stitchers. But she's having a retreat here in El Paso, Texas, yep. uh, coming up in March. I think it's the 10th and 11th and 12th I'm going or so. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. But she had a chunk. Oh, I'm going to tell this and then somebody else is going to buy it. I better watch. Y'all don't buy this material. Uh, it's got our names on it. Yeah. Nancy has uh -huh. a chunk of fabric and it's called Tula. Is that a yeah. type? That's, That's a, the weave of more of a weave. Mm -hmm. Okay. A woven. It looks mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks... Might have even been used for afghan, stitching for an afghan, but then they've cut them down. Okay, so it's the most beautiful red, and she has a chunk of green. And I, while I want her to sell it and make all the money she can, I'm praying with all my heart and soul that so, there's a little chunk of that left, or a big chunk of that left, because I want to do some things on red. Yeah. And that is a beautiful red. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's tough to work on colors. I, I can't even imagine what these designers go through I don't. when they're stitching. And there's so many beautiful over dyed, uh, I mean, hand dyed fabrics coming out. How yeah, do they even. That's what I mean. When they're design, designing and stitching to, to determine the color. And how we all know Fancy Floss, you buy a skein of weathered vine, you mm -hmm. buy it two weeks, three weeks, two months later. It's not the same shape. Yeah, it's shade. not the same. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how it could be. You know, these are small yeah. dyers. It's not a, right. they're not printed threads or something like DMC yeah. is doing well, where they're mass producing. It's That's different. why I say I think people just check your stash and stitch what you like, what you see is pretty, and go from there. Okay. So, Kathy, my next thing is i got two things left I want to talk about. So, um, one is I have a pattern, and it was I hope it was legal, you know, kind of thing. It was free. I downloaded it from a, a blog site or something, and it was a Celtic cross, and it's one of the first things I started last year, and this is as far as I got. And the reason I didn't get any farther is, first off, it's little. You know, it would be a little pin cushion or something. 
And second off, I cannot tell you how many half quarter freaking doodle. Quarter. Oh my God, it's a nightmare of a. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hate three quarter uh, and quarter stitches. So my question is, uh, I have the pattern from who was the designer? Carl. I'll give you a nickel. If you can Carl Buziak. Carl Buziak was the designer of this Celtic cross, and so he's got the chart. Is there a snowball's chance in heck I could rechart this and kill the quarters, three quarters, fifteen quarters, nine quarters? It's a nightmare. Of, I mean, it's turning out cute, but so do you think I could or no? She's saying not no, but heck no. <laughs> I'd go hunt for another one before I. Well, I'm going to learn how to do it. Is my problem. Oh. I don't want to be a designer, but I would love to learn, I want how, to to learn how to chart my own. I, you know, I probably, so. let me see. I want to do it bigger. You know, I don't, yeah. it can be bigger, so it gives me more opportunity to put full stitches in. Three quarter stitches. Though. Oh, that's what I said I was doing. I'm like, I'm not even finished. You don't, so this see, is my, you don't see many designers doing those stitches. I don't know, but I'm going to try. So, so if anybody has words of wisdom of how you chart stuff, and Nancy charts. Um, Faith so, work? Faith work, yeah. uh, charts, she, and I see her with graph paper sometimes, you know, yeah. and all. so I printed, I downloaded from the internet, from the internet, um, some chart paper, you know, oh, 10 yeah. count to the inch yeah. uh, paper and all, so I'm thinking, I, what will I waste, some right. colored pencils, I mean, you know, no big deal, so that was one thing, can we do that, okay, let's see. and so if anybody has any tips or tidbits, I know you're saying it's not worth it, but I got to practice on something, and I don't want to practice on something too easy, you know, Yeah. so anyway, um, now you made me forget what. Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, so speaking of Nancy's um, spring, Retreat. yeah, her spring mm -hmm. uh, getaway. It's coming up, isn't it? It's, I think the uh, March 11th and 12th. I think March 11th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And also, I'm looking forward to it. And it's a spring getaway. Okay, so here's where I need y'all to comment. Let me know if you have been to a retreat and you got a table gift from somebody or just a little hello gift or somebody from somebody. Tell me what your favorites were. Oh yeah. I need to. Don't tell like them. You don't go to any retreat empty-handed. Oh, you can't. Yeah. I used to go to uh, scrapbooking crops and scrapbooking retreats. And all. Well, you had to bring stuff. Yeah. You know. Well, I don't know what to bring. So I'm needing some ideas. Now, I've got uh, today's the 24th or something. Yeah. And I've got till the 8th, yeah, let's say, to be finished with all these things, March 8th. So I've got all of two weeks and a, mm, you know, to get finished. So don't, don't be telling me something too hard. But I have some ideas. But... Um, I need some ideas of what you'd like to take. How many girls is she having? Is she hosting? I have no idea. I don't I'm know. assuming there's no more than 12 at a table. Yeah. It's a round table. I'm thinking they're probably eight. Yeah. Probably eight. Maybe eight. Uh, which is, you know, yeah. I'm going to have to give them help. You got to have room for yeah. all your junk. Yeah. And uh, all. But, the other so, thing but is, you also got to bring uh, some things to hand out, huh? Well, the other thing is you got to have a cool set to go with. Like What is a cool set? Like your stitching bag, your stitching. Your stitching tool container, your needle book. Well, I have a couple of ideas for T-shirts I'm going to make myself. So everything's got to like coordinate, and then you become the apple of the table because okay. everybody. Now I'm going to tell y'all my T-shirt idea, and y'all going to steal it, and then I'm going to copy your design. So here we go. I'm, I want to make a T-shirt that says, "If you're looking for me, I've fallen down the rabbit hole." Yeah, oh, no. there you go. And we do. If you're looking for me, I've fallen down the rabbit hole because. I, I know I gotta have a match. You know, you just gotta do all those things. Okay, so on that note, matchy, matchy, match. I had made this. Kathy and I made these uh, mm -hmm. thread bed books a while back, and I use mine, and I love it. I made several of them, you know, three or four of them, and I love it. Now this one's not full right now because it's between projects, but um, I just peeled off the thread. So this is where I can put my counting pins in, and it's got a, a magnet where I can throw a needle down. But I'm more likely than not. And we have a YouTube on that. Mm -hmm. It's got a little case. thing. It's got a little plastic thing here you can't hold see, but the, I could hold some things underneath and all. Mm -hmm. But all I also want to do is I want to just over glue a piece of felt over a big, I've got some of those big earth magnets. Big. So big. So I can throw my scissors down and then not be wondering where my scissors on the table yeah. or something. Anyway, so oh. I have this one. So y'all know that's my look. So yeah, what I did I was I just this. made, I made myself a little needle book with, I um, love that. It's too simple. I need to, you know, I love it. Just trash it up it a little is. more. But uh, you know me. I had to put some sequins and little rhinestones on it. And uh, some little old pin, uh, buttons and laces yeah. I had. And these doilies were a friend of mine from the internet. Different channel I used to have. Uh, sent those to me as a gift. And so far when you open it up. See what I'm saying? It's too plain. I got to doll it up some more. But I got my it's first really, little really counting pin in there. 
and then uh, some more laces. What else? I don't have much else in there. Oh, I put this was um, a pin I got from one of our viewers who I love. And then the old, these are old, old, old uh, eyelets and all from my mom. And it's a pocket. You know, I mean, if I need to just tuck something yeah. underneath there, it's not going to keep it good, good, but yeah. it's going to keep it a little bit. But anyway, so. Um, Very pretty. So I got a little bit of a set started. See? Now, Jessica from Sweetwater Stitchers. Last time I said Saltwater Stitchers. Well, I don't know. You were thinking was. Saltwater Stitchers. Saltwater, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, <laughs> the candy. was one of the people who showed Target has a jewelry box, a zip around the yes. jewelry box. Did you get it, Mom? Kathy showed a beautiful box she got that cost, you know, nine thousand dollars or something. Yeah, know, you know. I had two. But that jewelry, eighteen. Oh, I have two. Okay, <laughs> so eighteen thousand. But anyway, uh, but I went to our Target. They don't Did have you, it. You got to order on the line. On, they have it on the highway one, the oh. one on Gateway. So I got to go t another twenty minutes out of my way. Big blue, I, you know, an excuse to go to Target. It's not hard. But anyway, I want to go get that jewelry box and then line the inside of it or something if they still have it. Uh, we should both thinking, get one and do one. That would be a fun project. I think so, and it's cute. And of course, I went online to the you know China sites I should buy from, yeah. and I went online to Amazon yeah. and every place else I could think of, and um, I didn't see one like the one at Target. A lot yeah, of them do like smaller one. ones. Well, yeah. I, they're too you know I've too got small. cute scissors. I don't want room. yeah I want a little wiggle room. Yeah, and, you know. Okay, so that was going to be the third. So part if you of go my, to Target, you're going to get me one too, right? Well, I'm telling you this uh -oh. just like I'm telling those other people not to buy that red material. <laughs> Nancy, I want you to sell that red material, but if it's left, I want it. I want it. Um, and I didn't get to go to the crop. I mean, the no. Stitch what last happened? Weekend. It was my fault. Oh, because yeah, the knee. Kathy's knees falling apart right in front of us. It We're is. lucky she can walk the, you know. 10 steps from house to house here. But it's more than 10 steps. Isn't it? And everything in El Paso is on an incline. You know, we're on the mountains. Yeah, and all. also everything's a hill. Let's put it anyway, this way, the moral yeah. of the story is the two targets I looked at, there's one on George Dieter, which is across town, about 35, 40 minute drive. And then there's one on the gateway. And each store only had one. So you only get in one if they have two. Oh, no. <laughs> I love I think, you, but not enough to drive 45 minutes should, out of the way. Order the dang thing. Should, I, think I think we, we should, should order. do them. They're cute. And they're gray, if I'm looking at yeah. them. So how easy would that be to go with my Because honestly, I would rather take the one that's not so expensive and, and beat the daylights out of it than yeah. the one that cost me $9,000. Okay. So yeah. anyway, guys and gals, I need y'all's help. I need some table you gift have ideas. To make one of these to fit in it, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. I just I want, a little, I want a little set. You know, I want so a now set. you got a good start. I got a good start. Yeah. You do. Okay. okay. Let's see your sulky box. Okay. So Where then I was, there was two sulky? other a while back. You know. uh, did you order them individually? Oh, heck no. It was a deal on Amazon. And you know what happens with Amazon, which I love, or the internet oh, yeah, as a whole. Oh, yeah, they tell you you need this now, too. Well, and once you, you start looking like for something, then you get ads from 20 other people. Yeah. Well, Amazon sent me a sale on it. Now, I don't know what the original price. No, uh, I did. I looked at several different places yeah. that had it for like 120 or 140 or whatever. But on Amazon, it was like under 70 bucks, I think. The Look day. at that. But isn't that cute? I'm in the soul piece. I love them. Now, you can see a lot of colors missing because mm -hmm. they're, they're kitted Tons up in of kits. Colors. Yeah. Well, and they're in kits, you yeah. know. But uh, how cute was that? And I love them. When you were talking about your uh, yes thread, uh, what I'm loving is when you're doing one thread over, yeah. sulky is good. Thread. Yeah, but I'm using one thread instead of two on 14. Oh, some people do. Uh huh. It and just it looks pretty good. Look you it like. gives it that more primitive yeah, look. A little softer. All. So anyway, mm -hmm. this was on Amazon. That's so a good put deal. Put it on your birthday wish or something. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. that, I know. have picked up some sulkies along the way, and they have stitched up. In fact, that Pretty West colors. Virginia sampler uh -huh. Santa face. He's uh -huh. all done with sulkies, and it does stitch really well on. Because that I that I think is 28 count on the gingham. Mm -hmm. Um, the checkered looking fabric. <sighs> That is 28 count, I think, and that covers really nice with a sulky, one strand of the sulky. Kind of the weight of of uh, the Danish flower thread and the Ginny Thompson, which is That difficult. Danish flower thread felt thicker. That was some difficult. meaty thread. And some, uh, I think, antique needle workers. Is that the one that has the, the, the mill? Oh. Is that mm, the one? Yeah. Is that their name? I don't know how to okay. get on their wheel. One of the girls is mm. stitching, like, a... Um, on Ada, she decided to use Ada, but she is stitching, it looks like a coverlet. And I think the coverlet design, the old fashioned coverlet designs would look great in the flower thread, in the Ginny Thompson, in the sulky, because it has more of a thick texture, mm -hmm. looks more like that. 
She's wanting to cross stitch a coverlet. Yeah, a small a piece, like a coverlet fragment from a coverlet. Oh, okay. Just that, but to stitch that with that thickness mm -hmm. would look more just what Yeah, like yeah. It's original yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. So the sulky thread, I just wanted to show you. I got that on Amazon mm -hmm. and it was a you know, I was searching and so originally they sent me a thing saying it was ninety bucks or something. Yeah. It's hundred and twenty nine at Joanne's or blah 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 blah, hundred and forty nine over here or something. Well then I got a thing saying, Okay, you didn't buy that, let me send you something cheaper. So they sent me you know, they sent a little ad. So I clicked on that one. Well bought. they know they know what we're looking at. They know I'm gonna buy it That's eventually. Sure. <laughs> they know it's gonna be but anyway, yep. so the only other thing I want to show you and you know what I love is when I think I've discovered something and then I realize I was the last one on the planet. You didn't get that oh yeah to discover people it. have been but yeah. uh so I've got a couple of quilts that, you know, they're finished other than i just got to get the bindings on. Ugh. And no, I'm I not a hand stitcher. I love much. hand stitching. Well, I can give him the quilts if you want to finish your phone. I'll give you the quilts, but I'll give them to you. Anyway, so the lady at the quilting store who I have just adore, she's, I mean, like, how did I know, know her all my life? Um, she was telling me she sews her binding on. Yeah. Then she irons it over. And yeah. then she glues it down. I'm like, you glue it down. So anyway, I got this fabric fix Love that stuff. good Works and the minute I showed great. Kathy like I had discovered you know bread she's like, oh yeah I use that all the time it's like well, anyway but I love it and it does not leave because you know a lot of other glues will leave a, kind of a glaze yeah well and they even bleed through the fabric mm -hmm. or something like it that doesn't bleed. all of this this was yeah. sewn you know the binding I used a little fancy stitch on the machine that doesn't look too fancy right there to give it a togetherness mm -hmm. you know kind of thing the rest is just glued yeah just glue and it's a good steady hold yeah and uh and it doesn't bleed through you know there's yeah. no bleeding through at all so very nice i will be yeah you know that's a great well i didn't have that hobby lobby. i have sewn since i was four years old yeah this I, works good if you're going to glue uh like lace and trims on chipboard too well that's what i was talking about because a lot of times yeah. the other glues will bleed through right you know so. okay Kathy, what else you got? Well, I got my haul, but we don't have to do oh, haul Oh, let's yet. do haul. Do you want to do, do haul? haul? Yeah. Oh, okay. I love her. So Step. I absolutely had to have this. This is from Country Sampler. And I saw everybody's, you know, working on their fun stuff. So this is, I don't want to glare. It's a Chessie and Me. And it's Bertha May Brown Sampler. And these are the colors. Kathy, this is drawn. Isn't that sweet? Colors in the fabric. That's pretty true to what it is. That is Love pretty. Love that. Kathy. Love, so you bought it, kitted up? Yep. Bought the kit. Love that. Those are silks? Nope. Cuts? Just over dyed. Um, oh. Yep. Fancy floss. Martha B. Martha so May. Pretty. Like her. She said son. Martha May. It's Bertha. Bertha? Bertha May. I gave her a new name. Bertha May Brown. <laughs> you know, she used to live next door to her. <laughs> So yes, I, I picked up that one. That is very pretty. Love the color for that. And then I have got to start this one. I haven't, oh, I just lost it all. Hold on, hold key. So this one, I bought this one also at Country Sampler. And this is. Uh, so these were from your trip? Yeah. Your well, trip. some of them. Some okay. of them are about recent. This is Stacy Nash. And this is um, Mary Higginson, 1837. Sorry for the glare. And her threads are just as beautiful as, and I bought this out at Country Sampler. Isn't that pretty? Well I'm done packaging and all, too. Yeah. From them. I love it. I've ordered yeah. them a couple of times. She does a nice Great. job. I don't know. I'm trying to get the right color, but. So, yeah, that's, that's that one. The linen is mm -hmm. I just look at the stitching on that house. Isn't that isn't that pretty though? Wait, I'm trying to get closer. There we go. Look yeah. at the stitch. I on like that the house. flower pots. Kathy, okay, that house is a job in itself. I know. Construction. It'll be under construction. You know, um, Carolyn Zook, I was telling you about her video she did where she was showing all the new market halls. Oh yes. And I got so tickled because she would say Ooh, this is going to keep you out of trouble for a while. Yeah. No, because I'm watching floss tubes and I can <laughs> get paused on this. And then well, when I was out this is there, keep her out of trouble for a I while, bought, too. I had this one pattern. Erica Michaels, Mary Haven, 1837. And then when I was out there, the girls kitted it up for me. So let me just pull that out so you can see the pretty, this was their, um, uh, 
what the heck do you call that? Conversion. There we go. What <laughs> the have is this, that's their conversion. And let me see if I can make it pretty so that you can see the breath. I hate it when it's pretty pretty, but you can't see the linen. Oh, hold on here. Yeah, but you take great pictures for Instagram. Yeah, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So it was it called for general works and weeks dye works. So what did they do different? Those are gas. These are general. Arts? She probably just changed the colors and weeks. So she went to general. Yeah. She went yeah. to general arts. Yeah. Weeks. She just okay. changed the colors. But the colors are stunning. Yeah. Really, really pretty. That little peachy tone in there. So yes, that's that one. Then. I have to get it in here because you know what happens if we don't. There we go. Then I picked up this one at the attic, EB1859. And I just happen to have another antique frame. That this is going to be perfect in it. I'm going to use that same fabric that I used. I don't know if I'm going to stitch it in red or not. I don't know. It's pretty though, isn't it? Isn't it, Molly? It's pretty. <laughs> and the, my mind is going because someone has a new pattern coming out this thing, and it's a pretty little sweet pattern. It's like my favorite colors are reds or something. Yeah. And I'm thinking, so I'm just going to have to change mine to my favorite colors This blues. is quite needle art, needle uh -huh. crafts again. This is the same one that did the... I can guarantee whatever you change it to is going to be so fabulous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with that one. Then I really want to get on this one. I love this one absolutely love this one. I, I've got the fabric for it and I, I, I might have to just got the fabric. What I plan to do, this is um, weeks 36 uh, straw and this is also by Point Needle Arts. So I think that's the lid and I'm going to do it on. But I think I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to call Jean and get the silks for it or what but I sure sure like that one so I've got that in my that just keeps knowing at me I love that angel so antique birds and angels all it's called it's also by quaint rolls needle arts which is the one that I just showed you this one and the Chateas, my cross one that I did so that's hers as well Kathy, this is really pretty. It's beautiful. And I was, when I was out there, I saw a gal. I think she's, I'm sure, got it done by now. But absolutely. That stunning. angel is so pretty. And then I saw someone add this on. Um, Here's some information. Is that me talking? That's your you? phone. Is that? Where's my phone? It's, it, the, noise came, <laughs> the noise came from down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. Oh, I know why. Because of my watch. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> always came from down there. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, this one I have seen people do too, and I, I to yeah. love yes. this one. Oh, that looks easy enough. Yeah. There we go. Kathy. So that's that. And then I did my conversion of threads are this. Wait, hold on. Let me just hold this up. GH1857. And who is it by? Everybody in the world knows but me. That is by Simone. Simone de Jean Van Wiesen. Now, one thing's really weird about this graph. I bought this graph. I took it and had it spiral bound because it's a lot of times it's easier. I know. Um, but I have seen that. I don't know. I have seen this printed differently than what the print that I got. So hmm. I don't know. Okay. Beautiful. It is what it is, but so and that, I love all the little pieces they include yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, <laughs> then I have Fanny's flower that I love. I've loved it from the moment I saw, from the it absolute like Lori. moment I saw, that. and it's like okay, I pulled it out, saw somebody else working on it. And here's my colors for that. Not the best, but. Mm. And this fabric is winter brew. Really like that one. Fanny's flowers. 
and this is Kitten Stitcher. I'm sure it's going to be released now, maybe even at this market. I don't know, but it, I think it came in the Kitten Stitcher box. And then this one I love too. This was from Sassafras Samplers. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. Um, and this is uh, Kimberly from out in, what the heck was her nail workshop called? Sassy Jacks. Margaret White, 1841. I'm going to just pull it out here. But look at, look at, so this fabric that I'm going to stitch it on is Needle and Flax Newport Beach. But here's the colors. But the fabric, I love the fabric. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Well, it's not yeah, very I think big. That's very pretty. It's not very big. I've got it all zigzagged and ready to go. So when the urge pops, it's got a little windmill, a big tulip in the middle. Mm. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Really like that one. And then. <laughs> Oh, the trouble we get ourselves into. Busy, but wait, mm -hmm. there's more. Oh. I got a couple more. I have got to start this one. Oh. This one is Tellian Emblem, and it's a design by Christiani Tellen. So this design is ends up being square. Um, I have a Sudbury, small Sudbury box that has quite domed. Um, it would almost look like a footstool, but it's not. It's like a little mini footstool um, that I want to stitch this on. All of her designs come with this charm, too, that you can stitch into your design. So in this case, it's stitched in the bottom right corner. But there's something about, I've got a, and it, really she calls for DMC on this, except for one or two of the, one or two of the threads. Um, so I have to, uh, I have to start that one. Love that one, too. It's, it's just unique. I got it. So yeah. And then one last one that it's been barking at me is Fox and Rabbit, Margaret Felicia Dawson. And I've, somebody is working on this one. There's the old one. And I tried. I wanted to do the old one color, so I did change up the colors. Um, one of those things where I'm going to be stitching as I go, maybe making some changes, but those are my colors. And it's pretty. Is it pretty close? There, Kathy. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty close. Uh -huh. So. Oh my God. I have plenty that are screeching, stitch me! So if you're monogamous on a sampler, how yeah. many, generally speaking, how many samplers do you get done a year? Probably if they're big, uh -huh. if they're big ones, probably maybe, maybe four big ones. And then I'll sneak some little ones in between. And what's little to you? Like my hand? little cross. Okay. Or and that little square box that I want to do. But so still up to 120 years or sort of yeah, 60s or something. Okay. Yeah. But so that's. Oh my gosh. That's what's at my feet yelling at me. And fox and rabbit oh, colors are beautiful. Are probably the one thing that could push me into doing a uh, linens. Because yep. they have some beautiful color bands. Beautiful. Ugh. And then Molly and I have been watching the new releases and we're like, oh my God. There's so many beautiful ones. Give me straight, huh? But yeah, so we're gonna be we're gonna be shopping. But I've got three or four that I really, really wanna get. Well, and I think Kathy, it's different for me in the fact yeah. that you know, I'm going from simple, seasonal, fun-loving things to graduating into sampler-ish mm -hmm. type things and all. So I may have more of a need for new things than you do because sure. Kathy's stash is huge. Huge. You know, and it's... We ought to have a stash yes. just to see. So, you know, the big, big totes you can buy at like Home Depot or Lowe's? Okay. I have six of those. Full. So one day we should just do a, a full of charts. And what, one of the things, Kathy, I would love for you to do is, like you're introducing me to some designers here yeah. that you probably only find when you go to a needlework yeah, store. That could you're be, not going to accident them upon the internet yeah. or anything. So if you're not going to a needlework store, Kathy's showing one toe at a time, maybe by, how do you have them organized? By brand or by, I have, by designer? Yeah, I have everything organized. So I have almost a full total of Scarlet Letter. 
Okay. And then I have my favorite. And this isn't even like, I love Just Nan. She has beautiful small designs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful done. She has done some bigger samples. I now, love the that. only thing I'm going to tell you, this is just for me, and I have a feeling some of y'all out there would think the same thing. How are we going to call out what is still available? I know you can find some on the secondary market. Yeah. But. Secondary if we market. Can, if you can find, if we can call out the ones that are still available. In fact, somebody uh, asked about the Sabine good. design that I did last that I showed the all red one with souvenir. Oh, uh-huh. I looked today. Um, you're going to have to go to the, like some of the European sites to find unless you're a member of one of the secondary market um, Facebook mm -hmm. um, where you can put many of those groups will have an in search of and you can list what you're looking for and people will read and a lot of times people are so gracious and generous to stitchers they'll um, get a hold of you and say I have this design between the two of you you work out you know how much do you want to pay I've seen stitchers just say I'll just send it to you um, so there is some secondary market help out there too but uh, yeah it, it's a little legwork on the ones that are all OP out of print. And you make us want them so bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's I'm not sorry. too far. That's just, you know, the holy grail. Of, you yeah. Know, what do they call them in cross stitching? It's not the holy grail. What do they call them? Unicorns. Unicorns. That's my unicorn or yeah. something. It's like, oh, great. So that's Summer. the story on so, that. But in theory, you showed about six, seven things maybe. In theory, you literally could, might get them done in a year and a half or so. Yeah. yeah. That's remarkable. I that is, that's remarkable. But I, I, and I'm, I wish I wasn't quite so, I stay with it. I, like that cross, my cross, I was like, nope, I'm so close. I'm going to just get it done. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move it. And I think it took me about two weeks. Just got it done. Just get it done. Yeah. Just That's my done. motto. Get her done. Oh my gosh, I'm my mouth done. salivating. I'm just actually in Get her done. And the thread colors, we're not doing a good job here no, with the sliding and giving it justice. Y'all know that from everything you see, but uh, the colors the are, colors are stunning. Are yummy. Just absolutely yummy. Okay, so what Kathy was alluding to earlier. Yeah, Molly is, and I have uh, chatted. I printed up, for, for my sake, and it's easier to show y'all, some of the patterns from the 2023 needlework market that's coming up. And uh, I will get them done in a year and a half. But I'll do, there are some of them that I think I just need in my collection. I love the discussion. It's one of the ladies, one of our comments posted about you know, it's it's art. Just buy it and yeah, you know, enjoy it, kind of thing. So I wanted to go through some of my favorite, and then I think Kathy. I got a couple, but I think my I have a couple that overlap into yours too. So which it makes me, I don't know. I just feel like that's an honor that yeah, you mean we, we like, like to see we like the same thing. Okay, well, and I like and your, I I like your earrings. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. See? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to get started if you don't mind. No, you go right okay. ahead. And um, you go right ahead. I'm going to look for my. Here so that okay. I, yeah. So the right first ahead. one, speaking of new uh, to me designers, probably not new to the world, but new to me designers, I'm thrilled to have found them. This is the kind of saying, I don't, I mean, no disrespect to Plum Street samplers for their Hello Spring or Spring is Sprung. I think that's a beautiful chart. You should stitch it just like that. However, for me, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm struggling with it. This chart has the saying on it that is what's playing in my mind. I did, you know, kind of thing. It's from Lila Studios, and it says, "No matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow." That kind of you like that? Yeah, and it's more of a yeah. message of hope yeah. and looking forward and the seasonal yeah. changes that you know he gave us and all. Anyway, so I'm loving this um, sampler from Lila Studio. I think it's just a very sweet pretty sampler. And what I didn't know is that Lila Studio has some other really pretty samplers. But of you know, She's got some uh, Yeah. Mm, and I should have brought the one. That's what I'm saying. I, I mm. you know I'm just I can only pick one, you know, kind of thing. Okay, and then a lot of people have mentioned this one. Mm -hmm. That we uh, talked about birds. I, I got a bird thing going on. Yeah. But I don't it's the like birds. I don't I gotta be picky because there's too many, too many birds. birds. But this one right here from the uh Running with needles and scissors, and I know a lot of people have talked about it already. It's called Beloved. That's really now great. what I need help on is before I decide on this one, I just need to make sure there's no hidden secrets of a, 
stitches. It looks like it could be done in all cross stitch. Oh, she, yeah. But and some of the patterns problems. you got to be careful. I'm learning to read because they they mm -hmm. throw in all kind of stuff that uh, does not reproduce as well on yeah. you know my 18 counts or whatever. So this one is that was uh, beloved by running with needles and scissors. Mm -hmm. And Very if you pretty. want birds, those are birds. Look at the coloration on those flowers. That is, I just love it. Absolutely. I'm good. trying to make you some room here, too. Yeah. Okay. Like now, this one, I got it off. Oh, and just to back up a little bit, I went to Annabella's shop, and she has a wonderful presentation of the new market releases that she's going to be, you know, looking at. And then Garan Stitchery, Carolyn Zook, C. Zook. Um, Shut, walk through, you know, just dozens and dozens by, by designer of the new patterns on there. Some beautiful things. And then, um, Fat Quarter Shop, of course, has oh, some. One, two, three, Stitch has some. And then, uh, some of the smaller, you know, um, independent stores don't have some things and all. Yeah. So I got my, um, collection from a lot of different places. But most oh. of these pictures I did, uh, copy and paste from Annabella's shop, which, uh, she's going and, um, I have this one. Anyway, so what I was going to say, this may be an older pattern, but I think oh, but they were re I think they were yeah. re-releasing it. I something. think it, they are, and I think it was a because I was only looking at new. I articles. think it might have been Country Sampler had this one as a kit. Is this Lydia? This is for what remains is love. love. Okay, yeah. And that is a if you don't stitch another thing in your life, you gotta stitch that. That's really pretty. It is. Mm -hmm. That is very pretty. Yeah. You know, so blackbird design. Teal, and yes, I can hear y'all stitch all the blackbird. Uh, it's got some teal in there. It's just beautiful. Just One of the stunning. things, too, I, I do like the idea of buying all the blackbirds anyway. I mean, some of us collect thread, fabric, quilters collect fabric. I think to collect all the blackbirds is perfectly fine. The That's other, what I say. It's just it's a work of art. The other know? thing, though, I've seen is a lot of the Brenda Jarvis with my needle and threads. Mm. Mm -hmm. are, and they're easy to stitch. Well, and those they're are classic. Those they never uh -huh. seem to go out mm -hmm. of fashion, mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. will. If there's a fashion side to all of this because it's you can go back and stitch those chickens. Oh yeah, they're just darling. Five years from yeah. now, you can and just, still like they're such chicken. characters. Yeah, that they have an independent. You know, I like her stuff okay. too. Now this one is from Tiny Modernist, which I am a fan of. Tiny Modern, mm -hmm. Tiny Modernist, Modernist. Uh, she has some really cute designs on. Now this one she's coming out with this year, and it's an Irish blessing. And in my mind, that's what I was telling Kathy, I would want to do it on one of our um, more vintage looking fabrics. fabrics instead of just the stark white. Even though it would, this would play in my craft room yeah. beautifully, I but just want it to look more tea. like it's like mm -hmm. I stitched it 40 years ago or yeah. 100 years ago or something. But I'm loving the shamrocks in there. And both my husband and I have Irish, Irish. in our heritage. Now, we haven't taken a DNA test. And we'll probably find out we're all don't you know, have Southern any. European. We don't have a thing, bit of Irish in it. But I happen to know my great-grandmother <laughs> that I was named after was You're Irish. sure? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's recent enough history where you, sure. can, you can track it on the uh, you know, genealogy sites. And, all. Anyway, and then we have family members who knew her. You know, yeah, kind of thing. But uh, anyway, but I think this is a really pretty. Yeah, the colors piece are of really art to have. You know, I'm gonna enjoy. I could see that because there's been some really pretty green dyes. Uh, that's what I could see that on a very mm -hmm. soft. Mm -hmm. not some so of the much over dyes windy, coming out. But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get off patterns for a minute. Have y'all seen? And that is it. Color and cotton that's taunting me. They're designing some colors that are like, there's oh, Priscilla's. Oh, fabric color? Yeah. You know, no threads that are oh, threads. like Priscilla from Stitching with the Housewives uh, Peppermint or Priscilla's Peppermint or something. Well, Scarlet House had one named Finnegan Finnegan Green. And that's some of the had, new colors are yeah. like, I got to get those. If had, but anyway, yeah. the more of the stories, look at those colors. That's just, they made it just for me. Is what pretty. I'm thinking. Pretty, pretty, that's pretty. It. Okay. Now, I just printed this one from Jan Hicks because that's I want everything she too. does. But I'm not getting everything she does. But this is samplings of spring lace. These are the smalls. And then, of course, she does a sampler of sampling of spring lace, of lace, samplers of lace spring. She has every season. I love them all. But I have to tell you, this, I've never been a pink person. But they're making me fall in love with pink. I know. So what's that about? I know the but pink it, one either. I but I love this. It's just as sweet as it could be. I had three boys and got eight granddaughters, uh -huh, so so I have to like pink. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so Jan Higgs, and she yeah. has one, and uh, I, this is going to show you how naive I am or uh, silly. 
But one of her new patterns is stunning. It's a sampler. I'm going to say it's a French sampler. And the alphabets are backwards in every picture I'm seeing. So is it actually the alphabet backwards? is backwards? Oh, I don't know. Or is she just proud? You know, I don't know. But when Carolyn Zook was showing the thing, she even made a comment about, are the letters backwards or is this picture reversed? I don't know. But Sometimes they forget to flip. Uh, well, but it's in every site I went to. So oh. it's like, I don't know. So it may be the lady stitched her letters backwards. I don't know. Anyway, now here's Luminous Fiber Arts, and she's another little young thing. I'm saying young thing, young, you know, 30 years, 40 years younger than me, whatever. But uh, I love some of her stuff. Yeah. I just think it's sweet, sweet. She does and I am doing this one That's really for cute. sure. Are you going to do no it question. red or are you going to reverse And I'm thinking I want to do it on red fabric and reverse. in oh, cream or would something. Would that red look pretty, like you know, cream then on yeah. top? However, i got to have a red tomato. You know, I mean, yeah. see the red tomato. Yeah. So I may just pick a variegated red, and you know, an over dyed red, That's and sweet. stitch it. But I love that this would one. stitch up pretty quick too. So this is gathering stitches, and she has a whole collection of gathering acorns, yeah. gathering pumpkins, That's or whatever cute. it is. Yeah. So definitely look at if you like these kind of little things. Luminous or fiber arts, love it. You okay? No, I'm good. Keep going. I'm okay. Enjoying. So. I asked her how many she can get done a year. I said, last year I said I counted and I finished, uh, what was it, 30, 26, 27 things or something, which amazed me. Um, so this year I was going to shoot for 40. I'm not going as fast as I need to right now, so I need to speed up and do some smalls to up my count. No, uh, but this one is from Stacy Nash, who is another one of those I, can, oh, I love her. She's got some adorable I ones. just love her. So are her and Brenda and Gervais related at all? Or no? Mm -mm. They're just mm -mm. same neck of the woods or anything? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a walk through the garden. Pin keep stacks. Aren't those sweet? Look at the little rabbit. I love him. So, and I was teasing Kathy earlier. There's several people who are putting out some really pretty pin keeps, you oh, know, yeah. collections. But a lot of those, those motifs, they're beautiful. But if you buy some of these other samples, oh, yeah. can't you just... Samples are in there. You can just yep. pick up a motif out yep. of it. So my eyes are attracted when I see something that, well, I hadn't seen that before, you know, or something. It's just somebody pulled that out. Uh-huh. But it's pretty. And, you know, from a... But I don't own that, anything that has that in it. Yeah. You know, that size. The is really cute. So that's it. Now, Kathy showed the, um, what, do you, what do you call it, sample stitching you're doing right now? Oh, the model sampler. Model sampler. Yeah, stitching for Dutch Treat. Doing. And yeah. Dutch Treat. And the colors are just the most gorgeous shades of grapes. and Yeah. Oh, just stunning just colors. Soft. So when I saw this one, now I don't think I'm the only one that likes it because I've seen it, it's pretty popular. But this is Vintage Grapes from Jeanette Douglas. She has about a dozen other gorgeous things coming out. But isn't that pretty? Yeah. The colors are pretty. They're pretty. Now my dilemma is, Kathy, I need you to get working and find us these little oh, trinkets. These little. You know, we used to sell those. Mm -hmm. so they look old, but Pure One. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have a Pure One. Here. And you know, I'm wondering if a store like uh, Trader Tuesday Joe's morning. or oh well, uh, World, you Market know, World Market or somebody. On the, uh, what is it? East Side World Market. We still have a World Market. I don't think we do. We did. I don't think we still do. Okay. But anyway. Uh, Vintage yeah, Grapes, pretty. Jeanette Douglas. Isn't that, yeah. uh, it's, you know, and if you have a wine bar or something, you know, a wine thing in the house, that would just be perfect, too. Okay, out of all the new patterns, I don't know why, but I think this one's probably my favorite. Thank you. And the old, if you want to stitch a house, stitch a house, man. This is from Twin Peaks Primitive, who I love a, almost everything they do. This is the Phoenix Cross Stitch. Definitely an estate. Look. That's really at pretty. those phoenixes. It's like bleeding hearts coming off of the mm -hmm. basket. No? It is. Well, it oh, is. it that, is. That's what well, the saying hearts. says, yeah, I don't have my glasses on. I got them right up here. I can put them on. Um, a heart filled with love is like a phoenix that no cage can imprison. Isn't that? Makes me want to get teary eyed. Yeah. But anyway, so out of all of them, that house is a, a. You could lose yourself in that thing. But the phoenixes are just. Now, this is printed on cheap copy paper. I'm not doing any justice, but uh, Love the Twin Peaks print. It's just beautiful. The baskets. Really the trees beautiful. are well done. I like the stags. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I love the border. Soft, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. Now, I, you know, I teased in one thing, and I don't want to get in trouble with anybody one way or the other here. Y'all keep your opinions to you. Say, no, <laughs> you know, on this. But I'm, while I'm not a church goer, religious person, you know, I tease about, you know, that's my buddy up there. He, you know, he gives us everything we got kind of thing. Um, but this came out from Heartstring Samplery. Y'all probably all seen it. And I want it. There's some nice. 
Every little snippets. I'm gonna start I get mushy here, but uh, at my dad's funeral, they played, you know, of course, the Old Orphan's Cross and some of those uh -huh. wonderful old songs. And wow. this is some. It's what is it called? Sunday Stitches, and it's you know some of your old favorite hymns. Yeah, Old Rugged Cross is on. Oh, there. Old Rugged Cross is on there, and um, that's cool. Isn't that pretty? It's nice, especially if, if you don't want to, you know, have it where it's very. Re Real religious in your setting over uh -huh. your trough or whatever you're uh -huh. But, but that, to pull so one pretty. or two of those is well, and I just you know, I, um, it's there's a memory. You know, I make ch I make little uh, charms and key yeah. bobs and things like that. Yeah. And one of the ones I, I made necklace pendants and all this yeah. kind of stuff. And one of the things, if I don't remember anything else today, I want to remember to say thank you. Yeah. And it's got a little cross on it yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Because it's so like, it's just nice. These are sweet. I think that's but, why uh, I enjoyed the sticking. artwork she did with them. <laughs> yeah. It's just subtle enough. The morning glory. It. Yeah. And, and that's uh, the problem with the morning glory is um, I told you about my grandfather. Uh, he used to have morning glory. Yeah. But when you went, the front of their house was just another house in a suburb, pretty house. Uh, but when you walked into their backyard, every inch of ground except for the pathway was covered with the most stunning flowers. He had, yeah, and you know, I was cool. four, five, and six, so gladiolas were taller than oh, me. Right, and the, yeah. the morning glories he had everywhere in the, uh, was, it was just the most stunning garden that man had. You'd have thought you were in England or something. Pretty but uh, so we got to do that one. Yeah. So Here's anyway. one that we love. Got to have this one. Who doesn't want this one? Got to have I this know one. Who want I this one. cannot wait to get my hands on it. And I love the saying, every opening flower by yep. Brenda Gervais. Now one she's of got a favorite. couple of others. I may have to start, like you're saying, just the Brenda Gervais. I think the Brenda Gervais, if you buy it all the Brenda Gervais, you're okay too. Because when everybody starts showing those cute little yeah, rabbits even the and those older little ones. snowmen yep. and the Santas and all, oh my God. See, look you at that. you got to work to find some of them though. You do. Yeah, you got to work. You do. Okay, so this is every opening flower. Love this one. Love, love, love. Love the colors, love the house, love the weeping willow. Love the borders. You know, I like borders that are yeah. uh, like that. I uh, just love it. I just Very love cool. it. I like alf I like stitching alphabets, but I like them like mm -hmm. this too, where they're kind of scattered. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so thank you, Brenda, for uh, like Brenda for watching this. But anyway, and um, now this one I have been after for over a year. It showed but up. But it says needlework uh, spring. Stacy Nash, but it was an exclusive at Country oh. Sampler. Well, now it's not. No, it's not. So there you go. So now I can get my hands. I like <laughs> love this one. Have always loved it. You know I like chickens. Yeah, I love chickens. And look at that little. I love bunny. rabbits. Yeah, you know. So, okay, I'm going to digress for just a minute. Annabella has. I was watching her video earlier. Elaine, I think her name is from the store. Annabella's. Annabella's. Uh, Annabella's. Um, she has a little spring. It's. I think they're called in the tray or something or tray something. So oh, they fit in a okay. little box yeah. that she's you know sells Looking, real cute. Yeah. And it's a little spring collage of things. It is so cute. The pig on it. There's a cow. Oh, there's chickens. Pigs. There's a little dog. It's the cutest little thing. And I didn't have time. I didn't print it right before this because I just watched her video. That's the cutest little spring. But just the pig was the cow. It was so. It was like I, you wanted to name them. There's they were something so, cute. so okay. refreshing about little farm animals. Well, that's Look at that. it was refreshing. That's a good yeah. word. That's a good I word. cannot wait. Isn't so that dark? Look at the little chicks around that chicken. I've had that puppy on search of places, well, and no one's getting rid of theirs. I'm like, no, well, but it says it's get, coming in. I can get my own. Okay, so. now next, there's two. I'm only going to do one, so I got to flip a coin. I don't know. Kathy, I like them both, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's uh, from Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. I love a lot of stuff they do. And the first one is called Spring Basket Pass Patchwork Basket Series Chart 4. Whew. Good thing I'm going to have Look how sweet. And that's pretty. Hats off. You do an excellent job on your Instagram taking pictures and setting I try to set it up. Yeah, you I try to stage them a little that bit. That is one of the prettiest settings. Yeah, with the quilt behind it like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I love those hanging flowers. I love quilts too. I love quilts. I do. One of the uh, clubs that I'm in mean, here in yep. El Paso, okay. the Women's so. Club, which has been around since the you know late 1800s. Late um, 1800s. It is probably. You know, and actually, <laughs> I live in a, I live in a neighborhood that's called the Colburn neighborhood because uh -huh. Olga Colburn and her family yep. lived here, and she was one of the first presidents of the. Uh, Women's Love. Club, so there. So anyway, on a different note, we had a tea there recently, and everybody decorated their tables. And so one of the ladies there brought a little square quilt. It had the prettiest buttons and hand embroidery oh, and quilting yeah. on there. It was. I feel it like I don't have the patience. 
here I am cross stitching a million crosses, but I feel like mm -hmm. oh, no, the patient's real close. But anyway, isn't that pretty? That's adorable. But I love her setting. Now, what's the wooden thing in there? What is that? I don't know, but it could be a scissor holder. Well, that's, it looks like a Maybe. scissor holder. Okay, now on that note, she has one that's called Betsy's Winter Basket. And well, it's so it's different enough that I, I love it. Doing both. Yeah. That's I just love it. But and I love this quilt. I like this one better. If she didn't call and ask me, so it didn't matter. Free. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Now this one I tried to get. This puppy sold out Kathy, within seconds. Did it actually come out yet? Yes. Cause see, it's saying it's a. They've got they they sold it on their Etsy site. Two girls sold it on their Etsy site. Kitted. I think they're oh. Australia. Kitted. I don't know. And so I don't know how this is going to be released, if it's going to be released as a PDF at some point, but you can't. You could get it in 40 count, 46 count. I tried to get the 36 gone instantaneously. So this was, it is a, a market release because it says it is, but the what they had kitted up and the fabric they had kitted with it was instantaneously gone. And well, I, was I, I yeah. honest to God, thought this might be one stitch along that I would get in on. Because I've not oh. been on any, but I thought we could do one if nobody else. I is. thought okay. if if I could have gotten my hands on that, I didn't even care if I got the fabric. I just because the fabric I have, I mean, it was just can I get you know get in on the pattern part of it. So it's from Mojo Stitchers, it just, which of course had the beautiful. Among the Roses yep. bird yep. that I just love. Just and this beautiful. is Harriet Turner. Absolutely love it. 1868. Yep. 1868. So this is another one. If I never do, I hope to do it. But if I, I never do love it, that I one. But this is another one, just some of the separate flowers just and motifs. I would have started that board thing on. in a heartbeat. Yeah, if I could have gotten my hands on And see, you know, I was worried about my yellow not showing on my Molly sampler. Yeah. But look in the middle there, there's some gray blue that see? is lighter than it's the frame. Ghosting. It's ghosting, yep. but it's pretty. It has a it's vintage so, It softens it. I think you're going to be happy with your yellow on your sampler. Well, I love the color, yeah. and I love the, the flowers and all. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, now these are last but certainly not least because this girl gets me every time. Yeah, just about, about everything she does, and that's hands-on design. First off, I just love her personality. I love her husband. I want you know whatever they're drinking. I need some. Make one for me. But anyway, the she came out. This was one I had talked about a while back. I'm doing a stitching with the housewives. And to all a good night, oh, which yeah. is a pretty little thing because I want to beat yep. it up like Kathy beat it up her little bitty houses, which we're going to see again, you know, next yeah. year and all. They're just stunning. Christmas in July. But this was, I was telling Kathy, she, Kathy Haberman did a house that would be so easy to stitch, it looks like, and you could beat this thing up. Oh, yeah. And it's that Cute. snow on the ground. Isn't that darling? And look at the little fob. That's worth the price of admission, just that. Isn't that... That's sweet. It's going to be sweet. Very sweet. But can't you see beading that thing oh, up? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and then, then she came one. out with this. I have not even finished my patriotic, but um, what are they called? Baskets. Yeah. Triple play pillows. Oh, yeah. But I love them. And they're, oh, coming, they're coming up in March. You know, I mean, they'll be in I my March. I might have to get my hands on this one, too. The this colors on the yes. I was telling Kathy yeah. not to bore you with this story. I had an Aunt Mamie who was my guardian angel. You know, I mean, just yeah. I loved her. And I was a tomboy into sports and, you know, the youngest of five kids. So you learn to defend yourself and play all those, you know, things. Wrong. But one Easter, she brings me this dress in this box from a fancy department store tied with a ribbon. You open it up, tissue opens up. And here's this dress with all kind of, you know, foo-foo foo -foo and beautiful embroidered ribbons and laces and, you know, what do you call it? Like crinoline underskirt and all this kind of stuff. Now, I'm not Nettie. that old. You know, we're not talking about the Gone with the Wind time here or anything. But it was just a beautiful dress. And I remember thinking, oh, for God's sake, that, you know, I probably was six years old. It's like that thinking, kid never, on the Christmas story comes on in a bunny. Oh, it was like, like never, that. ever. Will I, it was the most beautiful little dress. Yeah. Now that I'm older and I miss my mammy, you know, all the time, I love Lila. Lilac and yellow. It's pretty. So Kathy came first. out with these colors, and I love it. I love this, Very and it's pretty. a cross for me between my grandfather's garden and my Aunt Mamie's colors and all. And I love it. And she tells you where you can get the fabric uh, if you want to actually do actually, that. I might have to get that one. But uh, that might be a great in-between sample. Isn't line. that pretty? Mm -hmm. It's just pretty. Yeah. So it's got a quilty-ish look to it and all. Yeah. So Kathy, once again. Now, dang you. Uh, I love it. So now, those were my 
two years worth of stitching mm -hmm. or three years worth of stitching. I have one that I wanted to get my hands on, and this is a Chessie and Me, a Nashville release, In God We Trust. Uh, oh, I'm going to say it a little bit there. A little bit there. Now, who's it from? Uh, Chessie and Me. Chessie and Me. Yeah. Which you showed a pattern from earlier. Yep. Okay. Let me see if I can get it. I love the patriotic on that one. That's about the best I can do. Are those long flags yes. on the side? Oh, that's Isn't fabulous. Isn't that cool? They are. And then let me just, uh, and then I love the sampler. Uh, this is called the Posy Basket Samplers Not Forgotten um, little kit. But isn't that adorable? Got to get my hands on that one. Samplers Not Forgotten does pretty things. Yeah, she does. She's, uh, and then this was the spring chicken pin keep, which kind of matches. This is Stacy Nash. Kind of matches what we both like on the rabbit. Does it say spring chicken on there? It does. Spring chicken pin keep. But it's not stitched on there. That's no, what, no. I would have to stitch somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah, so spring on there. chicken. And yeah. then this one, it, I love this one too. Um, sampler, samplers remembered or samplers not forgotten. This is the heart. She does the kit every year. For Nashville. Love that one. You see the rose? Yes. I don't think the they might have got to see the rose, but uh, that is a stunning little rose in the corner. Yep. Very pretty. And, so oh, that's the one we both like. And I liked this one, and I, I apologize because I don't know who this one's by, but I like it. The Brenda Gervais one's a top, but I just like the, that looks like Frank Lloyd Wright. But if you go on, bit. um, I can, you know what? Maybe Any of I those can, sites, you know, like Anna, Annabella's or Garon or, you know, whoever's doing those things. Oh, here we go. Things. Hobby House Heart and Hand. Okay. Floral. Yep. So I did a visual match. On my but own. a heartfelt thank you to those who did those. Uh, a a thank you and a dang you uh, for those who yep. did those. Oh, Berlin Wool Work, Fragments and Time, Summer House Stitch Works. I liked this one too. Now, Kathy. Isn't that we cool? We can't see that. We got to. That is pretty. We gotta stitch it and show it. We gotta stitch it and show it. Can you go to what there oh. is what is this? That's a deer. That is pretty. Yeah, there's a deer in there. Okay. That well that's yeah, the house. But, it's but pretty, Berlin will work. Love that. And then oh, and then my zoo arrived for my ark. Yay! Oh her zoo. Girl, oh, animals. I know. I, I was wondering what that was. It was yeah. Weird. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, we got some fun things to look forward to. Oh, my gosh. And then uh, two other things I just wanted to mention coming up. There's a thousand things coming up at market that are just, I know. you know, must-haves. Saving my I pennies. love the variety of um, designs. You yeah. Know, everybody just being true to themselves and doing all yeah. those designs. But one of the ones I will probably get, because it's so, you know, I just need it, is Heartstring Samplery and Plum, and Plum Street Gee. together are doing oh, yeah. a, a collaboration. Mohammed. And uh, I said it's a... <laughs> She was saying, is that from a song? I said, I know, oh, I know it from song. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Who, you know, I love that guy. But anyway, uh, Sting, uh, it's Float Like a Butterfly yes. from one, and Sting Like, like a, bee a Bee is the other one. They're cute. cute. They're just cute, yeah, cute, cute I, things. I, I saw it. It's very and those, cute. I could just see those up yeah. in front of me. You know? And then uh, Lila Studio, which I picked out one thing from her. Right, It's just beautiful. Uh, but she has done the Lord's Prayer, and I didn't print it. But if you want to stitch the Lord's Prayer and haven't already stitched the Lord's Prayer, it's very that pretty. is a pretty yeah. sample. It's it's nice the size Lala too Studio. from what we can figure out. Yeah, but the border around it is so pretty. Yeah. It's the full prayer in the middle. Yep. It's just uh, stunning, very stunning. Pretty. And then it goes without saying, you know, Brenda Gervais, Blackbird, all those people have wonderful things. But stitching with the housewives, which is those of us in Ada world, yeah, you know, that's yep. they they are just some of the best, the best yep. of the best. Their spring collections are just so sweet so yeah. you just want to you just want to know them. Wanna you know, i want to i want to know that little chicken i want to know that <laughs> they're so cute yeah. and then annabella is like i said i was on her site she has well done site and all and uh those little samples that little farm when she did i'm gonna show you to it that little cow and pig and a dog or Her i don't have cute. a dog she has a dog, I have a dog. but uh it's their daughter you get okay yeah. what else you got miss kathy is there i'm wearing my else? pin <gasps> Well, and I got the only one too. We don't know what we're going to do with them, but. Okay, so I was teasing Kathy. I have to go to a tea. I don't have to. I want to go uh, to a tea Saturday. Today yeah. is Friday. Friday, tomorrow. 
tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, get busy on it. Four at the beautiful Paseo del Norte Hotel here in El Paso. That has a, dome, a stained glass dome bar. I put a picture of it on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's It's a beautiful historic building and all. And so we're going to a tea. And i got to make a hat. Now, it's Friday. I need it for Saturday, so no pressure. But <laughs> I don't have to have a hat. I can be the girl without the hat. But uh, You'll have a hat. I said I need to make... How do I do this? I need yeah. to make, do something see, where I just stick this on a headband or something. I actually a little bit of a up. slant, so you see. And I have some organza You'll, You can make stuff. something. I actually picked them up. Um, this thing was $25.99. No, $24.99. Uh -huh. And it, Hobby Lobby had a bunch of them on sale, clear and stout. And I was, oh, I've been you. looking at this one, and I thought, the only thing I would do with it eventually is put it on, like, a fun project bag. Or a well, that's, tote. Uh, I don't know what my thought would be, to put it on a tote and, you know, have it smile at you when you're stitching. If you can see that bead, but that's it's where, uh, you know, we're going to that spring, uh, well, you're not going, darn it. No, But to the spring getaway retreat us, and I can stick that on a bag. Boy, there's a showstopper. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to figure out how to strap, you know, with yeah, the hand, just strap the this to a headband and call it a hat. And call know. it a day. Yeah, so. Uh, call it a day. You know, get out my margarita, get a little creative, and get that so done. So that was kind of fun. Okay. Um, that's kind of really about it. So we got a stitchy. It was a wonderful haul, Kathy. I know. That haul was beautiful. Her finishes are I should bring a tote over at a time. I can have you guys attached here for probably a good day or two. I don't think they'd enjoy it. I think they'd enjoy it. Now, Kathy and I have to take a little bit of a break because we didn't pull names yet. But my oh, theory that's was right. I wanted to get, today is Friday. Well, we normally are, do on Sunday. Yeah. We don't normally do anything. She was away for 400 years. Uh, <laughs> but if we, if we don't wish us be horses. So we're going to try to start filming on Friday so we can release on Saturday. Yeah. But I want to give everybody a chance to enter. Yeah. So there may be three of you right now that are wanting to go to our thing and enter. Uh, that's, uh, you know, for the, I don't want to use the word winner or whatever. Yeah. You can try to keep spammers away. We got enough of those out in the world. But anyway, so I'm going to, we're going to take a little break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to announce the winners. Yeah. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now. So we shall return. Famous last right. word. Now I got, hold on. I got to find the button. You know, I'm so. Stop recording. Stop recording. Yeah. Hold okay. We've only been on a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing. Okay, Miss Kathy, are you ready? I'm ready. January. January. We have Renee Whitaker. Renee I Whitaker. Yes. Yes. Now, Kathy, this chart is us. yours. This chart is yours. Yes, you can reach us either on my Diary of a Sample Lover, message, message me there, or Molly's, what's your email? My email, uh -huh. I can, my, we can yep. put it in the, in the we'll put it in the, spam. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know, she doesn't need any more of that. Oh my God, I'm So you can so reach much. us that way. Uh, Be Mine, is that the oh, next wait, one? Be Mine. Be Mine is Carol Pfeiffer, P-I-F-E-R. Carol, this one is yours. And Dr. Carol, this looks it. like it would be as tall as my house, but it's not. It finished size is 5 and 3 eighths inches by 16 and 7 eighths. Right. So what was the name? Carol, Carol Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. And then this last one is Valentine, which goes to Les Williams. And, and it's L-E-S, first name, and then Williams. So Isn't that darling? And that so that's there for you. the name of it. We put Valentine because I didn't, I couldn't put my hands on it right when yeah. we were doing it. But it's Sweetheart Ornaments. Yep. And all three of these are gifts from the Fat Quarter Shop. shop. And, uh, can't thank them enough. Can't thank them enough. Um, and want to share with y'all. to come closer. I know. I was thinking it's about that earlier. So it's like, easy to go over, over there. there. Oh. Anyway. So, uh, okay. Was that it, Miss Kathy? It is. I just we want to thank everybody. For the wonderful comments and the encouragement that you guys give us, it makes us feel good. Makes us want to do another one. Um, I love posting the love pictures. You. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been really fun. It keeps us motivated too. But yeah, so don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, um, share, tell everybody about whatever else uh, we cross. We crazy things we do to motivate my, you. My husband was laughing the other day. He was watching some YouTube videos. Goes, that fool is asking me to like, subscribe, and share it. He hadn't even started his video yet. They do it in the beginning. <laughs> well, we hope you like the video. We hope right. you made it this far. Yeah, and you did. Now, yeah. if you did, yeah. please like, subscribe, and yeah. share. Uh, it just means the world to us. But again, yeah. y'all's comments, mm -hmm. I, you cannot know what food for the soul that is. It was fun. It made me laugh. Sometimes I spit my, co my coke out of the screen. Uh, fun to see how many people caught on that we switched. Yeah, you know, I was picking on switch. Kathy She's because Kathy used me. to lean back in the chair and all of a sudden, the office. Yeah, and the cat in the back, the back. 
in a and then I would pick at her because she couldn't find the camera. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, now I am <laughs> in that chair. That. I'm like, I'm sliding out and I can't find the dang camera. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, well. Oh, okay, well. ladybugs well, and yeah. gents. Stitch on, be happy. and uh, Remember, I need ideas, please, yeah. for quickly made, not expensive, but meaningful um, we away. call them sussies, and you know, like, like Charles right. in Louisiana, and always from those table sussies. But little gifts, you know, to share at a, a retreat. So these are cross stitch fussies. Yeah. And uh, you know, I teased before here in El Paso, we've got quite a stitching community. Yeah. Kathy, I found out that at the police station. Yeah. You know, when they arrested me the other day. No, uh, I'm going to be signing up <laughs> using the community room at the uh, oh, police yeah. station here. It's nice, 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 nice. It's very uh, nice. For a board of directors meeting for the yeah. clubs we're having or something. Anyway. It's very um, nice. And she said, oh, you're a stitcher? She said, we have the Red Hot Stitchers come every, you know, is that a different once group? a month. Saturday. Oh, well, I guess it is. So I don't oh, know who wow. they are. I want to go and just knock one day. Yeah. But uh, anyway, here it's in El Paso, fun. we have a great group. Yeah, you know, it's so a lot of fun. So We're always going with that story. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we just so, need to stitch. <laughs> we need to stitch. Yeah, so. Well, hopefully we brought some encouragement to all of you and some fun things to look at. And, and we're not asking y'all to buy anything. We nope. don't have to dime on any of that stuff or anything. We're just sharing the love no. and we know how much it yeah. means. I love when y'all show stuff, you know. Yeah, because so. if, if it's something that we have or that we like to use, uh -huh. we are sharing it because we want to share it with y'all. Uh -huh. We want you guys to be able to take advantage of it too, so. Okie dokie, Smokey. So right. in the description below will be my email, and I put it in there. Guys, I cannot tell you how much spam I'm getting email. I love my big old thing. Uh, how much spam <laughs> I'm bad. getting. But, uh, <laughs> you know, underneath there is some crevices that you could drive a truck through. But it, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> But my Instagram is M O L L Y D W N. Yeah. On Instagram. And Kathy is Diary of a Sample Lover with some underlines underneath there. So you can After put her. Yeah. yeah. Now, Kathy is uh, set to private. Yeah. So but you can still message me you because can message I can her. I can mm -hmm. accept the message. If you want to friend her, she's going to look at your account yeah. and make sure that you're a stitcher. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kind yeah. Of if you don't have anything on there or, you know, don't mm -hmm. have any posts, it's, it's yeah. kind of hard to know. Yeah these days so anyway oh so. and i do want to warn uh warn y'all caution you whatever the word polite word is or whatever there is more spammers in the world than yeah. ever before you know go get a job but anyway uh <laughs> we Post will stitch. not ask you we'll ask yeah. you for your address because i can't get it to you any other way unless you right. drive to El pass and pick it up but uh we won't ask for money for mailing no. we won't ask you to send anything else no, no. other personal information no. we just need to make sure that your username on youtube matches and then if you However you send us the information, yeah. we will be asking you for your yeah. address, of course. All is but good. But nothing and else. And thank you, too, to the wonderful people that have sent us some fun treasures Ooh, yeah. in the mail just mm -hmm. for us to use. They know we like to do our blocks and, and scrapbooking, and and so that's always a pleasure. We had a gal, read, Ms. Reed. Thank I, you. Miss Reed, I have enough trouble staying concentrated, you know, squirrel, um, yeah, on one thing. Yeah. And Kathy brings me over this box, box full of stuff. Well, now I want to do this. Now yeah. I want to do that. Now I want to so, do that. And I, a, a lady offered a sampler kit that's coming in the mail. And so, yeah. We, we're, we're not gonna, asking for anything. Please no, don't. Please no, don't. No, no. I have just want to say thank you. want to say thank you, um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Some nice treasures. But thank now you. I have a new lamp coming in today, hopefully. Yeah. What'd you order? I bought a lamp. My son... Um, told me about some lamp he bought because he does, you know, yeah, model making like, yeah. or something or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, anyway, so he told me about that brand that was really, really bright and he liked it. And all. So I bought it from Amazon and it's from the floor and goosenecks oh, over wow, my chair. Oh, nice. wow, so You might like that. Well, that's what I'm needing. From the floor up. Well, the, well, the, the, the little one I was using, you know, when I'm trying to sit in a comfortable chair, yeah. I can't get that lamp close, close enough, enough to me. Mm -hmm. I have a floor. I've got a couple floor lamps. Well, Kathy, you've got command center. I have a command center. One of these days we'll tape. <coughs> got to. Me, we'll tape over by my place because uh -huh. I've had some comments come through that way too. When are we gonna get to see your place? Yeah, and you know Brenda from Brindle, Brenda in the cereal store yep. showed her house, and I was thinking that almost looks like Kathy's house, but um, it's got a lot of stuff. Beautiful. In, in fact, I was stuff. looking at the corner that I goose stitch. <laughs> Somehow my corner has made its way out past the place. <laughs> my house is like we could light that. Oh no, for warmth. Oh, but, how funny. Well, you know, my friends. All my stuff's black in it. When I was at the uh, cross stitch, uh, one yeah, of the retreats uh -huh. recently at a, oh, not retreat, one of the day events that Nancy hosts. And I teased the lady next to me. I said, now, if I start spreading like peanut butter, you just push me back over. So I just don't know you're fine. But uh, Kathy has spread like peanut butter. I, it's definitely <laughs> worked its way out. I looked at that and I thought, oh, I 
can do something with that. But, but what anyway. I love about Kathy's house is just the every, what would you call them? You know, like every little setting, every little story, every little vignette is a. It's always a story. It's a story. It's always a story. Just treasures, treasures. Okay, oh, rambling. Rambling. Yeah, rambling. Okay, rambling. Yeah, rambling. Okay, winners, don't forget to contact us. If not, we won't send you the thing. And it was wonderful seeing you, yep. uh, visiting with y'all again today. I was yep. seeing y'all. And uh, like, subscribe, and share if you will. Thank yep. you so Thank you. much. Next time. Okay. And y'all have fun. Don't overbuy from market. You know? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let me find my button.